Hello, I'm the, the Duchess of York. Thank you so much, ma'am, for too. being on my show, Unlock Your Health for UK Health Radio. Hi, BJ. Are you a professor now? Oh, uh, well, I have completed my PhD. I'm not a professor yet. Wow. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> it's pretty really good to go that far. Thank you. It's amazing. You know, one of the main reasons why I really like to interview is mm -hmm. that I know how much you care about your daughters and how you look after them in terms of giving them a holistic health in terms of nutrition and lifestyle. And I know that you know recently you have gone through a huge shift in your own health. It's just not just about losing weight, but actually a total transformation. Mm -hmm. So from your experience, Duchess, could you share what are the key things that people should be looking at to stay healthy and to achieve their health goals? Well, the first, the first point is very important for people to stay healthy and achieve their health goals is to understand they have to look after themselves first. You, on an aeroplane, I don't know if um, people are lucky enough to go on an aeroplane, but you, normally what happens is they say put the oxygen mask on yourself and then help the children next to you. And uh, one of the things that I find is absolutely Im the most important thing in my day is to check your own self. Yes. You cannot go to your children with a bad mood or an uncomfortable feeling because then you're taking your grown-up problem to yes. them. So check yourself. So don't, before you go into the room to see your children, if you've had an argument with your other half or if something's gone wrong, then just go, oh, yes, okay, I must own that side of the street. So I, I, I call it sweeping the side of the street before you go to another person. Uh, then when I do go to my girls, I talk to them about the five points. Okay. So I go, I go firstly, point one, I go, so has mum done anything to annoy you? Are you angry with mum? Then I go, are you angry with dad? Is there something that you need to tell us? Mm -hmm. So I think it's so important that, that parents forget to be, to be young. They've forgotten that they slammed all in their parents' face. So why are they now trying to lecture or not listen to their children? So firstly, mum, secondly, dad. Thirdly, friends at school or friends around or friends in the workplace. Now, has somebody caused you to, to belittle or feel unworthy within yourself, which is causing you now to act out in a certain way? So it's really very important, point three. Point four is, what have you done today, which perhaps you, perhaps you drank too much, perhaps mm -hmm. you ate too many sugary sweets, perhaps you had three donuts, which you didn't want to eat three donuts and half a pizza. It's just where, the way you beat yourself up. And then, of course, the fifth one is, is because of all those points, did you actually start really hurting yourself, sabotage, and then going right. into that spiral? Right. So those that I've always taught my children to be very holistic about mind, body, soul. What is the mind feeling? What is the mind making up? What story are you actually living in? And then acting out in that story. So it's right. not real. I mean, I can say to you today, oh, um, VJ, why do you want me? Why do you want me on this to interview me? I, I mean, you know, I've you know, why do not many people want to talk to me, but why do you want to talk to me? I can make up a story yeah. or I can just be present with you. Right. Yeah. If I yeah. made up the story, it would be me going, hi, VJ. Hi, <laughs> lovely to see you. Like really people pleasing. Yes. Instead of just being present yeah. in myself, being here with you right yeah. now, sitting on the chair. But as you know, VJ and, and Thomas, both of you know very well, it's taken me a long time of a lot of soul searching. So I may sound very strong within myself right now, but we used to call it the doubting chair. Yes. And many times, VJ, in our time working together, you know, I, I so often would sit on the doubting chair, which we would make a little miniature chair, wouldn't we? Yes. And yeah. that's really what we're saying about this holistic health is mind, body. Body has to work like a car. If you, if you have a beautiful Ferrari, are you going to really put coal or diesel in it? Absolutely not. You're not, are you? So so what you and Thomas have taught me and what we've learned together is is you are what you eat. You, you, yes. And I do really, really believe that. You, I keep try to keep a very alkaline diet. Uh -huh. It works for me. So what's an alkaline diet? You know, I know as a health professional what it is, but from you, uh, Duchess, you know, how would you choose alkaline diets for yourself, for your family? Well, um, I choose a very balanced diet so that if I want to go and have a chocolate cake, I will. <laughs> I, I've, I've, otherwise, I think you, you, you then immediately want it because you keep denying yourself. 
Yes. So, but I therefore don't eat many chocolate cakes. But an alkaline diet for me, if I can keep to it Monday through Friday, I like to keep with a really strong alkaline diet, which is a great deal of green leafy vegetables. Uh, I do blanch the kale. I think that's very important if you yes. take kale to blanch it. You taught me all this and uh, cucumber and asparagus. I love asparagus as a way of really getting its good diuretic for the body. I really find it great for me. I, I really love it. And so I eat loads and loads of green leafy vegetables. And and I also, I, my sweet treats are tangerines because mm -hmm. I find it just yes. easy to peel and quick. And if you're in a rush, it's kind of a good little trick. Uh, I love black chocolate, dark chocolate over 70%. Uh, for a quick little with a cup of coffee, I do have a cup of coffee with that. And it just gives you the taste and sensation that you've got something which can just sort of have a sweet treat, really. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and an alkaline diet, would, I, do, I do eat fish, a lot of fish. Tend to do, I do eat red meat, but tend to maybe twice a week. Yeah. And so I'm sure you can tell that your viewers and listeners much more than I can, but, but it, is, it is really uh, how the girls and I manage to keep grounded through that. If we have a weekend, we will undoubtedly eat bread yes. and put butter and salted butter and mayonnaise and everything else. But there's the, the, not every weekend and it's just in balance. Yeah, that's amazing. You know, what you do most often is what actually determines the outcome of mm -hmm. one's health. Thank you so much for talking about the importance of mind and then nutrition. And that is in the radio interview, which I'll be doing for Unlock Your Health for UK Health Radio. Do you mind sharing an amazing recipe you taught me how to make these cookies at home, which are very healthy? <laughs> so to yes. listen more about uh, Duchess's transformation and her message to mothers and also, you know, young uh, individuals, young children as to how to really take control of our health. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be talking to the Duchess on Unlock Your Health. Do stay tuned to www.uyhradio.com. Thank you so much, Duchess. Thank you. Thank you.